Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Jacques. And I'm Swati of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Due to the poor safety and efficacy of current drugs, new treatments for African trypanosomiasis are urgently required. And consequently, considerable efforts are being made to search for new trypanocidal compounds. The parasite Trypanosome brucei is transmitted by the tsetse fly and causes sleeping sickness in humans. It's one of the few parasites that can cross the blood-brain barrier. And since having bugs, bugs on the brain is never a really good thing, it causes morbidity and death in untreated humans. Yeah, of course that's not a good thing. <laughs> the parasites exist in a stumpy form in the fly salivary glands and can transition to a slender, transmissible form for injection into humans. Then, of course, it has to go back into the stumpy form to get back into the fly. McGregor et al. uses RNA-seq to perform high-throughput chemical screening to test for chemicals that are capable of activating the stumpy form. Now, why would we want that? Good question. Um, by forcing the parasite to transition into the stumpy form, it disrupts the pr proliferation okay. of, uh, that can only occur in the slender form. I see. And you know, what they do is they actually used the PAD1 reporter gene expression as a proxy for stumpy form. Of over 6,000 inhibitors that they tested, they identified three compounds able to induce upregulation of the PAD1 reporter. Just imagine the impact this could have. I mean, if you could force the transition of this parasite to the stumpy form, it could reduce transmission in epidemic situations. That's just amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really in incredible. Have you ever wondered why um, the immune system doesn't just attack these parasites and get, get it done with? That's, that's a great question, and we often talk about this uh, very often when we talk about diseases. But there's a beautiful review by Mana et al. where they discuss just this. These parasites have an amazingly sophisticated immune invasion mechanism. It really is cool. Um, it, it, but it's based on the variable surface uh, glycoprotein, uh, VSG, uh, and it, which forms a coat of identical glycoproteins that cover the organisms. Since the molecules in the coat are all the same, they elicit a minimal immune response to the host. Then periodically, the, the host would switch these uh, and change all the glycoproteins in unison into new ones, all with a slightly different structure. So these are randomly generated structures, so uh, it really is like a, a molecular Houdini that you've got going there. That's, that's pretty exciting. I mean, just you know, being able to change the coat ever so often right when you're about to come under attack, it's a beautiful camouflage. Oh, yes. And then there's, of course, the guide RNAs, yes. That is a very interesting discovery by Kozlovsky, and they, they performed small RNA sequencing and identified over 642 major sequence classes. Now, what's exciting is 84% of which were novel. They, did, they had no idea about this until they did RNA-seq. And it turns out that small guide RNAs, or what they call as gRNAs, play a role in RNA editing. What they do is they insert or delete the uracils that are needed to generate translatable mRNAs. I mean, that is just fascinating. When I read about this, I jumped out of my chair. It, yeah, and it, it it's really makes sense because it provides a, uh, the organism sort of unprecedented protein diversity. And uh, this is quite honestly the first uh, study in trypanosomal gRNAs uh, that I've seen that uses high throughput sequencing. And you know, you really wonder if these gRNAs exist in, in other organisms. So um, it would be very interesting to see if, if they play a role in differentiation as well and if they could be uh, used as drug targets. No doubt that that's, that's future research coming up. <laughs> but sequencing is revolutionizing the understanding of the host pathogen interactions of Trypanosoma brucei, from the genes trigger triggering its transformation to the non-transmissible form to its ability to dodge our immune system. Yeah, and finally there are the gRNAs that provide this, these novel mechanisms that can control RNA expression. We could go on forever, but unfortunately we're out of time. Thanks for tuning into our show today. Please do feel free to reach out to us with any questions, thoughts, concerns, comments, any feedback. We always love hearing from you. Take care and have a great day. Bye. Bye.